Hi, I'm Daniel Hibbert, and I'm a visual artist. I fell in love with art as a kid, probably three or four years old, realizing that it was a, it was a mode of communication and expression for me. It was a release. Uh, I was the type of kid, you could leave me in the room with some crayons or some colored pencils, and you could come back three, four hours later, and I was still right there. Um, and so when I realized that I had an ability to take what was in my head and communicate that visually through whatever medium that you put in front of me, um, I became fluent in that language and that's where I feel like I fell in love with it because it was something that came so naturally to me. Mechanical engineering is just as much a part of me as, as being an artist is. Um, I, look, I think I approach my art primarily like solving a problem. So if I watch 13th, the documentary, and I want to communicate mass incarceration visually in my mind, I break that problem down and I say, well, what does that look like and what am I trying to communicate? So that's really how it translates in terms of the way that my mind works. And then even here recently, I've been thinking about how do I use some of the concepts that I learned in engineering to explain, you know, really difficult things that are going on in culture. You know, how do I use quantum physics to, to explain you know, social progress in the African-American community? How do I use, you know, the physics that goes into a pendulum to explain the oscillatory nature of society and how we swing back and forth between extremes? And so I don't really limit myself from being left brain or right brain, but here recently in my artistry, I've really tried to just embrace all of that and kind of think about the fact that my, my form of expression embraces all things from problem solving and engineering into the more creative side. One of the th cool things I do is I bring viewers into my process by recording my entire painting process. And I realized how important it is to pull people into your process because it gives them a whole different lens and transparency into you and your mind as an artist. I've never been somebody that you could box in. I was always, you know, someone who was into math but also was into music, was into art, and was into sports things that just never really went together. And there's a purpose for that, and there's a reason for that, and it's manifested in my art, which is why I use complex scientific concepts to explain social things that are going on, and I do it in a creative way, and I can honestly move in any circle. And you're unique for a reason, and you just have to find how you pair those together, and you create your own purpose, you create your own destiny. Um, and if you're committed to it, and you're devoted to it and you invest the time, the opportunities will happen. But you have to be committed to whatever that thing is.